Hello everyone. Today I'll talk about essential fatty acids. So before starting with the main topic, let's go with the basic. That is, what are fatty acids? Fatty acids are long hydrocarbon chains of various lengths and degrees of unsaturation that terminate with carboxylic groups. That is the COOH group. They are represented by chemical formula RCOOH, where R stands for hydrocarbon side chain. They are amphipathic in nature. That is, they contain both hydrophilic and hydrophobic groups in the structure. Let us see the functions of fatty acids. Fatty acids serve as major fuel for most of the cells. They serve as building blocks of phospholipids and glycolipids. Fatty acid derivatives serve as hormones, example prostaglandins and intracellular messengers like phosphatidylinositol. Prostaglandins basically are groups of lipids. In, involved in dealing with injury and illness, they control processes like inflammation, blood flow, formation of blood clot. Phosphatidylinositol is classified as glycerophospholipid. Let us see the comparison between essential fatty acids and non-essential fatty acids. Essential fatty acids are those which are not produced in the body and obtained through external sources. Example, linoleic and linolenic acids. Non-essential fatty acids are those acids which are produced in the body and usually there is no need to obtain them through external sources. Example, palmitic acid and stearic acid. Now why exactly are essential fatty acids not produced in the body? Humans can synthesize many saturated and monounsaturated fatty acids but they cannot produce two main types of polyunsaturated fatty acids that is the linoleic and linolenic acid. The main reason is that humans lack enzymes to introduce double bond at carbon atom beyond C9 in the fatty acid chain. Here in the diagram you can see these double bonds are introduced behind the C9 in the chain and the enzymes to produce these double bond are not present in the body hence these acids are not produced in the body. But they are necessary precursors for synthesis of other products, hence they are essential for mammals. Let us see the functions of essential fatty acids. These acids are required for membrane structure and function, transport of cholesterol, formation of lipoproteins, prevention of fatty liver, etc. Lipoproteins basically are the substances that consist of lipids and proteins. They act as transport vehicles for lipids in plasma. Fatty liver is the condition in which there is accumulation of fat in the liver beyond the normal concentration. Essential fatty acids are also required for maintenance of structural integrity. Derivatives of linolenic acid like docosahexaionic acid are required in development of retina and brain. Now DHA plays an important role during the fetal stage. It helps in maturation of retina, visual cortex and also mental development. Essential fatty acids help to make the skin impermeable to water. They undergo certain reactions and produce some compounds which will make the skin impermeable to water. Ingestion of polyunsaturated fatty acids increases esterification and excretion of cholesterol thereby lowering the serum cholesterol level. They are also needed for production of eicosanoids. Icosanoids basically are signaling molecules made by enzymatic or non-enzymatic oxidation of polyunsaturated fatty acids. Let us see the sources of essential fatty acids. Fish, other seafood, nuts, seeds, cod liver oil, soya bean oil are the main sources of essential fatty acids. Plant sources and fish, seafood and algae are also some sources of essential fatty acids. Eating a variety of omega-3 sources is important. Large body of scientific research suggests that increasing the relative abundance of dietary omega-3 have health benefits. Egg, milk, yogurt are also some sources of essential fatty acids. These acids are found in supplements, protein powder, weight loss shakes and also in the form of tablets. What happens in case of deficiency of essential fatty acids? Deficiency of essential fatty acids result in phyrenoderma or toad skin characterized by eruptions of on the posterior and lateral parts of the limbs on the back and the buttock. 
These eruptions can be seen in this picture. It also leads to hair loss, poor wound healing. Patchy dullness or color variation of the skin also occurs. Deficiency of essential fatty acids leads to obesity, eating disorder, cardiovascular diseases, hypertension, cancer, and diabetes mellitus. Deficiency of essential fatty acids also results in dermatitis, which involves itchy, swollen, or reddened skin. Essential fatty acid deficiency in cystic fibrosis is well described. In case of cystic fibrosis, CFTR dysfunction occurs. CFTR is cystic fibrosis transmembrane conductance regulator which is a membrane protein and a chloride channel in vertebrates that is encoded by CFTR gene. Because of CFTR dysfunction, cystic fibrosis occurs which leap and this dysfunction of CFTR is because of essential fatty acid deficiency. Chronic inflammation affects fatty acid metabolism. Linoleic acid levels are de decreased in cystic fibrosis. Let us see what are conditionally essential fatty acids. Certain fatty acids become essential under some developmental or disease conditions and they are referred as conditionally essential fatty acids. Most important among this is DHA that is docosa hexaionic acid. Humans can produce DHA but to a limited extent. DHA is produced from alpha linolenic acid. Capacity to convert alpha linolenic acid to DHA is limited. In case of deficiency of DHA, supplementation is provided. DHA is very important for development of the brain and retina as I mentioned it earlier. Many infant nutrient formulas have DHA added to them. Fish oils are good sources of DHA. DHA is considered as heart disease fighting fatty acids. This video was all about essential fatty acids, sources, its deficiency and a short description on what are conditionally essential fatty acids. I hope you liked this video. Thank you so much.